good morning students this is the information of the lecture july 14th 2020 class 8th subject english communicate with cambridge is the book which we are reading students and now we are on the unit 2 and section 1 it means like unit is okay everyone can understand the chapters of the book is divided into units 1 to 5 or 6 and then units are divided again into sections so it is section 1 of unit 2 that's it's given a b c d name section and this is lecture number 1 students let's go to next unit 2 name is turning trash into treasure turning tra trash into treasure and the section 1 which we are going to read that's creative reuse creative reuse so let's see what what we're going to read first uh, that's unit that's all about unit uh, turning trash into treasure what's all about this introduction let's see look at this uh, picture and discuss in groups of five so you just need to work out uh, by connecting yourselves with the cell phone or like sitting with the family members or with anyone else because this is very useful thing Let's go to the part one A. What do you think it is trying to portray? So, children, what is very important? Portray means here is represent. What do you think it is trying to represent? This uh, picture you can see on the screen. What is it representing? That's very important. You need to think of yourselves. Though I tell you something, this picture is trying to promote recycling, right? recycling as a means of protecting the environment people can bring the recyclable waste and get it recycled means things can be remade that's what rest you need to use your sense to think about it right so let's go to b what does turning trash into treasure mean to you turning trash into treasure means to use waste products again like there are the waste products which are supposed to be used again for a different purpose in a creative way a way is should be creative and these are prepared in a different way means the waste things waste products are again made and used that's called turning trash into treasure rest you need to add your own ideas also right everyone and let's go to c suggest a title for this picture you can see the picture on your screen you need to decide the title of this as uh, per my knowledge it can be recycled for a cause or i tell you children it can vary you can decide the title of the picture according to you should be approachable and well suitable to the picture right everyone so that's all about the unit 2 that means we are reading here turning trash into treasure so let's go to the next what we are going to read there well of course this is section a creative reuse now you see children warm up exercise is there let's see what's written in the warm up look at these pictures you have two pictures before you right identify what has been used creatively to make these items so you all people are having fine art or you can talk to your teacher of fine art to confirm the things of which material these have been made right so it's your creativity you just need to give a little headache to your mind to just think what sort of think things have been used here so let's go to the reading of the chapter children there is a growing community out there waking up to the challenges of our times and finally realizing that we live on a planet with finite resources rediscovering the old virtues of swapping mending giving a new life to something old turning trash into treasure now what we understand here children there's a growing community out there means people are there they are growing their mentality is very uh, means 
good they think about the things like waking up to the challenges of our times or like they're taking the challenges they're taking the responsibilities the challenges of our times means they finally decide that uh, they're realizing that the lies that we live on a planet and on which planet we are living with finite resources finite resources means like limited resources we have limited resources not unlimited resources rediscovering the old virtues rediscovering means they're trying to uh, re means to make again re means to do the things again with the used things right rediscovering the old virtues of swapping swapping means exchanging now what are they doing basically the things have been used they'll swap it again to make it something very different mending means children to make something again means improving mending means like improving giving a new life to something means uh, the things have been wasted if these can be recycled <coughs> re <coughs> then the one will try to make something else of that particular thing like that's been old that's called turning trash into treasure right let's go to the next creative reuse also known as upcycling right upcycling means to use the things it is given here upcycling or repurposing is the process of taking materials now you see creative reuse we will understand here children the use of things creative reuse means also known as upcycling or repurposing what does it mean why it means is the process of taking materials or products that are unwanted for their original function original function means children suppose the things have been made of something else these have been used for years or for 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 days and after this these are unwanted means not in use right lost their originality of the function for their original function and through creativity creativity means the one is going to use the brain how to use that transforming them into pieces of art and that's transformed means changed into pieces of art means art is applied on this to convert to make the things like for home decoration or other useful items like other useful items which can be used at home or out of this is different from recycling now what do we find here creative reuse is very different from recycling recycling where products are broken in recycling products are broken down to their component parts their parts are separated they are these are broken out and remanufactured into new products and then again they are manufactured remanufactured means again these are manufactured into new products right so you need to understand this basically there is a difference between creative reuse and recycling creative reuse is also different for conventional reuse it is used for conventional reuse where the product is used in its original purpose again what do we understand now you see where the product is used in its original purpose again creative reuse is also different from conventional reuse definitely it's very different what happens basically here students where the product is used the product which is going to be used here in its original purpose again again it is used in its original purpose that's called the creative art basically so let's go to next creative reuse is not different creative reuse what do we understand children here creative reuse is not about doom and gloom doom and gloom means a bad or unhappy situation a bad or unhappy situation means creative reuse is not about it's not about doom and gloom means a bad or unhappy situation it's not about this it is the process of transforming it is the process of transforming by products means changing by products waste materials now waste materials useless or unwanted products into new materials 
this is the meaning of the creative reuse means unwanted products waste products are products into new materials new materials are made from them or products of better quality right a better quality or for better environmental value the things are made these are environmental friendly whether as products using everyday waste material and the products which are made of these sort of things these are used in everyday everyday waste material allow the user to take part in their construction means the things which are used here these are used in everyday life and the material is taken from the everyday life to make the uh, to construct the any uh, object or article to use and invite them to simply and creatively experience the concept of sustainability now see children what does it mean by sustainability the idea that uh, goods and services should be provided should be provided in ways that do not use resources that cannot be replaced and that do not damage right so that we need to see that's not going to damage so sustainability means such a thing which cannot be damaged which doesn't damage that's quite good enough right everyone so what do we understand here so we should just uh, and invite them simply and creatively experience the concepts of sustainability here what do we understand children jo products which products we are producing every day from the every day waste material the users who are the users who make or construct their art who use their creative brain to form such creativity we should invite them simply and creatively experience the concept of sustainability we should provide them such sort of things with the help of which they can construct the useful articles or items right the addition of creativity to an already manufactured item has a new function now see children the addition of creativity to an elderly to an elderly manufactured item has a new function the addition of creativity to an elderly manufactured means in addition uh, we are talking about to the creativity basically the one who's very creative brain to form the things or to manufacture item has new function <coughs> the one has already in the brain the new functions for example let's take the example author is talking a cd case can become a bird feeder cd case in which cd are kept or put that can become the bird feeder the items uh, the things are uh, provided to the birds to eat that can become bird feeder that's useless to us when it was cd case it was used it was useful to us but after having uh, like lost its originality that's not in use as cd case so it can be used as bird feeder children bottle corks can be used to make a coke boat now you see bottle cork are not in use when the bottle is gone uh, like old or like not in use so its cork can be used for the boat to hang it you just need to stick it or paste it and you talk about the a t-shirt can be transformed into a rug now you see the rug rug means what a piece of carpet so with the t-shirts rugs can be made right now see the next paper mache pronounced pepe pepe a mache now remember this children this is going to be our pronunciation right is the perfect environmentally friendly craft paper mache the thing we are going to read further right friendly environment friendly children craft means skill at making handmade so it is handmade item basically and can be picked up easily by an enthusiast what is an enthusiast enthusiast a person who is very interested in and involved with a particular subject or activity right uh, the one who is very creative brain basically so can be picked up easily by an enthusiast it is an excellent hobby 
author is talking if you just make a habit of it that will become your hobby an excellent hobby for people who like to work with their hands those people who work with their hands children you know that our teacher suresh sir fine art teacher he makes things with the hands handmade things basically that's called craft he uses this that we have the live example in our school too you can talk with him for further more information now see the next paper mache in french means chewed paper chewed paper means crumpled paper basically it involves using shredded shredded means children small pieces of paper or torn paper which paper ha which paper have been torn or small pieces or crumpled in the folds and paste to construct study paste to construct study study means children strong and not easily damaged right study to and paste to construct they paste the paper to construct study strong lightweight articles articles means items of any size or shape any size it can have or shape also what is astonishing astonishing means children surprising about paper mache is the way old paper that now astonishing thing is what what is astonishing thing about the paper mache is the way old paper old paper rather flimsy flimsy means children thin and easily torn flimsy means thin and easily torn items basically can be transformed through a process of mixture these are uh, put in the into the mixture with paste like a, a, a small uh, uh, type of paste is made of it into extremely hard and durable objects the things which are made of it that's extremely hard and durable means uh, lifelong this will go lifelong so that's enough for this lecture children will continue in the next lecture after the pictures uh, three pictures we can see right thank you very much for this